Congratulations. Um, first of all, can you just, um, yeah, describe the performance, um, you know, and, and what your players delivered in, in pretty tough circumstances tonight? Yeah, uh, very good performance, especially in the first half. You know, we were clinical when we had to be. Uh, structurally, you know, they felt they caused us too many problems. Uh, had to probably fix a couple of things at half time because we played, you know, with a slightly different formation based on, you know, obviously what was available and what we thought was the best way to go in this game. It's something we worked on in one of our breaks anyway. So players were outstanding, their effort, their effort, their attitude, um, their togetherness, and very proud of them. What's this week been like for you? I know we spoke after last week's game, you were looking forward to actually having a seven-day um, preparation period. I mean, what's this week actually been like? Oh, it's, it's been interrupted, clearly, but you know we've stayed focused on a game that was going ahead under any circumstance and and you know the players were focused they worked really hard and and obviously you know we we're down a few players down a few staff and everyone's lifted and you know what's important is the spirit of of the whole group i think reflects you know what this community is about which is you know don't take a back step you know work really hard no matter what um, and overcome obstacles and that's what they were able to do today and how important um Obviously, a few plays this week when, when we spoke to them said, you know, every game's going to be a final from now on. I mean, how important were those three points tonight? Yeah, they're very important. Uh, it would have been, you know, it'd make it difficult, obviously, dropping points at this stage of the season. Uh, but more importantly, I just felt the performance was befitting uh, a team that, that's working so hard and, and, you know, overcoming adversity and, and all the situations that are thrown at them. And, and the players, like I said, they, they just deserve credit for, for how hard they worked tonight and, and more importantly in front of our fans, you know, who, who were great for us tonight. Quick turnaround, obviously, to, to Perth. Are you expecting um, to get many players back? Will you not know for a couple of days? Oh, I'm not really sure at the moment because, you know, it's, it's really a situation that's just developed over the course of a week. So, so more importantly is that everyone's healthy and, and when they're able to return, you know, They'll give me a selection problem, obviously, but also, you know, I just want to obviously focus on the group that performed tonight and, and did an outstanding job. Um, and lastly, yeah, what, what did you make, I guess, of, of Archie coming in his first game of the year, scoring the two goals? Yeah, very good in the end. Uh, we know that we've known all along. I know it's been frustrating probably for some people, but, you know, my... My goal for Archie is not to come in and score two goals and then miss a long period. So we've worked really hard, um, and he's worked really hard, to be honest, to get himself physically to a point where it's not about playing one game and, and we know what he can do in the box. Um, there's still a lot of work to do to, to refine his game in all areas as well, but I'm just pleased for him because he's been working hard and he's had a lot of setbacks um, over the course of the last few months physically. And you know we've taken a long-term approach with him because I think that's... That's a duty of care to a young, a young talent to make sure that, you know, we look after him to not play a season. We want him to have a career, and that's been the the message from day one. And and tonight, when he was needed, you know, he, he was outstanding. Thank you. Thanks, Arthur. Thank you. Hey, Arthur. Just Nick from News here. Um, I mean, it wasn't just Archie. It was Lucas as well tonight. who put in a really good showing. And I mean, last season as well, they linked up for a goal too. And it seems like they have a bit of a nice little interconnection today. Um, what were your thoughts on Lucas's performance tonight, obviously being his first start of the season? Yeah, it worked really hard. I thought the last game when he came on, he gave us a, a big impact as well. Um, you know, Lucas is, is serious about his game. He's constantly trying to improve. And, and in the end, like I've said to him before the game as well, and I've been saying this since day one, you know, you've got to be ready to take your opportunity when it comes, and it will come. And the main thing is that when it does come, you're ready. And, you know, you saw a group of players that some of them haven't played a lot, but it, it probably speaks volumes of the way we train and the program that's in place that when they're needed, they fit in and, and they make an impact like they did tonight. And your, your preparation with the goalkeepers wasn't necessarily ideal at all. I mean, Jack wasn't 100% and you had to bring Nate in at the last minute. I guess take us through all that. I mean, how is Jack and how are the guys that are also out, but also bringing in Nate today? Oh, look, Nate, Nate got cleared around 4 o'clock today. So at that stage, Riley Wallen was my backup goalkeeper. Um, I'd spoken to him about it as well. Uh, if he needed to be, he he was willing to to go in there. And obviously, Jack, you know, he missed a couple of games through injury, and 
you know, he was outstanding when he came in and, and most importantly, you know, he impacted the team and, and Nate has spent a little bit of time with us, but it was a bit, um, you know, confusing possibly because a couple of weeks ago we made a request to have Nate as a, as a goalkeeper when Jack was injured and we were denied that opportunity. But yeah, fortunately the rules were a bit adjusted and we were able to do that tonight. So, so that was important that we had a goalkeeper on the bench. Uh, for what, last one from me, mate. Um, I mean, we asked Steve this as well, and you obviously only had Valentino go on international duty, but had a lot of other guys out. But just in terms of the international duty stuff, um, how do you see, do you think that you guys should be off at this point in time? Um, because obviously a lot of teams are pillaged at this point. Um, how do you see it among, you know, the A-League landscape right now? I think for the integrity of the competition, you want the best teams available to play every single game. But I think we can... We can be really clear that that hasn't happened consistently anyway. So, so you've got to be ready. And in the end, you know, it's not something that I really want to get too involved in. The week's been taxing enough. I want to enjoy um, this moment, you know, for our for our fans, for our members, for the terrace, um, for the community. And then we just got to get focused again because the most important part is, you know, it's 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 the second game in a row we've won. Um, we've beaten a very good team, but you know, the challenge is to back that up again and that's all we'll focus on. Thanks, Arthur. Thank you. Arthur, Adrian from AAB. Uh, first of all, congratulations on a terrific performance there. I know there was some talk over the last couple of days that you guys were looking at even the possibility of a postponement. Uh, how pleased are you now that that didn't come about? Well, we, we clearly, as a club, made that decision. Um, we were you know, basically told that Today was the opportunity to either play under any circumstance or if it wasn't, it was a nil game with zero points. And I think we'd be letting down our members if we didn't have a go. I think we wouldn't be doing the right thing by this community um, that if we just decided to take that road. And also we wouldn't be doing the right thing by some of our players because in the end, if you have a squad, that's the purpose of having a squad and that's what creates opportunities and, and opportunities were taken today. So, like I said, that was, that was a decision that we made collectively um, and, yeah, it's, it's turned out to be a, a very good night for all of us. Absolutely. And just with Archie, people keep mentioning this phrase, growing pains. Is, is that basically what it is or was it just trying to build up his resilience for a young guy? Without going into too much detail, it's not. It's got nothing to do with growing pains, to be honest. It's um, just a, a history of you know breaking down because he grew he, the way. Obviously, he's matured and he's been put into senior environments from a very young age. So, like I said, you know a lot of research went into what we're trying to do with Archie. You know to give him that best chance to have a career. And like I said, he's got a lot of work to do still. But you know he's shown that in the box, he's he's deadly, and he, and he proved that tonight. And I mean, I know you probably didn't want to talk too much about the possibility of finals at this stage, but obviously if you can string a few wins together and you have, you do have games in hand over some of the teams above you, do, do you allow yourself to think about the possibility of pushing for that? No, because the performances are what are important. You know, we've had two very solid performances. If we, if we keep performing like that, you know, we'll finish in a place where, like I've said to the group from day one, I still believe there's something special to do here. Um, but overall... It's about focusing on the performances, the togetherness of the group, the way we want to play. And, and like I said, being super aggressive in everything we do and, and, and getting our rewards for it as well. And last one for me, just checking it. First of all, did everyone pull up all right? And is, is Angus a chance of being right for the next game? Yeah, yeah, Angus, Angus will be right for the next game. Uh, made a decision today that, you know, the workload that Angus has gone through, um, probably if we played him tonight, could have compromised him for Wednesday as well, and we know what kind of trip that is to Perth. Uh, so we made that decision, and like I said, the guys that came in as well, you know, we didn't notice it really, did we? Uh, no, and everybody pulled up all right from tonight as far as you know? It seems so, yep. Terrific. Thanks again. Well done. Thank you, Adrian. Um, Arthur, just a quick one from me, just back on the topic of um, Archie and Lucas tonight and what a game they had. Um, how important is it for clubs, um, not just yourselves, but I guess the whole league, to have those academies and those players brought up that way and have them ready for situations like tonight? No, oh, it's, it's fundamental, but the most important thing that these that these things happen by design, and that's what's the real important part of all that, that you know, developing players systematically and in a, in a structure that allows you to produce players from home is critical, you know, and we've seen that obviously with 
you know, what's transpired over the last 24 hours in terms of the discussion around development. Um, and, and it's critical because there's an affinity to this place that when players come through the system and they're good enough to play at this level, it's a special thing for them to play in front of their home fans and their family. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you guys. Thanks, guys.